Hello, hello. Well, I wasn't expecting this one today. It was posted on Saturday, and with Christmas post being as it is, I thought I might not see it till later in the week, if indeed until after Christmas. However, no time like the present, and no time to die. So this is the HMV first edition. Um, which I really liked the movie, so I thought I'd go for for your fancy Dan edition, limited edition gift set, as it's called here. Um, not really going to spoil this for the movie itself, because I think a lot of people will be getting it for Christmas, so I don't want to spoil the film. So we'll just have a look at what's included here. Because I've got a, an inkling to the kind of overview of the, the Daniel Craig series which uh, to give you a bit of a, a hint as to where it goes for me it goes um, so first edition hype sticker will keep that then you've got your just your box itself that's all part of it so this is one continuous piece that ain't no sticker there that's again part of the box itself open up to see let's go straight for the main event so this is your 4k just as you will buy it in the shop not very imaginative covers ever these Craig ones are they they're always just kind of bit of the Bond logo with James in a tuxedo but uh, however to this Clytus edition but it doesn't seem to be that many features um, which is a bit disappointing considering the events of the film and it's just pretty standard stuff here you're not getting anything it's not even any slow you know buy the James Bond 2022 calendar here however there's a slip case because you know everybody loves a slip case even Spectre's got a slip case and what 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 makes this the limited edition gift set? Well, let's have a look. It's a book, isn't it? Mm. The making of the film, exclusive mini book. Well, where's the? If this is the mini book. Where's the big book? Nice artwork, though. Look at that. There's Daniel waiting in the delays for the film to finally come out, I think. Welcome back, Mr. Bond. The cold and lonely place, pre-credit sequence, primo valo, spiritual home, Logan Ash, under the cover of night, Paloma. Man down, made in Britain, know me, an old foe, and Safin. So it's got a contents list. So yeah, it's kind of as you expect, they're a bit of a puff piece. It's almost like the kind of thing you would see in older films as uh, the the program. But again, with very nice photography throughout. Loads of quotes from uh, uh, Barbara Broccoli and uh, Michael G. Wilson. Nice picture of Rory can hear there. Yes, Safin and the bedroom scene pre-credits so yeah it's um so very nice and, uh, Aston Martin sequence which which took up quite a lot of the publicity didn't it uh, Primo gets his own section here he's kind of the henchman of the movie didn't feature very much in the adverts or the trailers, but uh, and neither did Valdo, and he's quite a big part of the. He's almost a MacGuffin of a character, to be honest. And look, there's um, there's a uh, uh, Hugh Dennis it's from uh, from Mark the Week, and a Bond movie. Yeah. Felix. It's not, it's not much of a spoiler to say 
Felix Leiter doesn't have the biggest bar. Paloma, probably the fan favourite. You know, there's always the talk about, is this Bond girl going to get a spin off? The one that should is Paloma. She's absolutely fantastic. And after uh, her and Daniel Craig's chemistry in uh, Knives Out, then yeah. That's twice in a row that she's uh, knocked out of the park. Blofeld, of course. Being the old foe. Ah, and there, there you go. The images in this book are taken from No Time to Die. Uh, the making of the film. So this is really a cut down version of that. Uh, but you do get also, if I can get, and get some, some of your cards, yeah. So this is James Bond, you probably know him from the James Bond films. Paloma again, she's absolutely fun. She, she's in one scene really, but wow, she steals the show. Shannon Lynch, our new, I don't think this is a spoiler to say, she's our new double O agent. Um, she's, yeah, I thought she was going to be the most badass thing until Paloma pops up. And there's a, what do you call her? From Blue is the Warmest Color. Where is the Madeline, Madeline Spawn. Yeah, much improved in this film because I did not like Specs so very much. Spoiler. Uh, Q, wonderful as always, Ben Wishaw, and finally Safin, played by uh, Freddie Mercury. Young Freddie, because he's not got a moustache. And finally in here, how do you get, how do you get to this? Ah, not very easily is the answer to that. You push that down and then it should fall it should fall out maybe if you go at it from the other side from the other side there we go no time to die Aston Martin DB5 keychain Very nice. Very nice. It comes with the actual Aston Martin. Um, it's waiting outside for me. I need to go and pick that up. Like this. It's actually very hefty. I wasn't expecting that. It's a, yeah. So you can have that in your key ring for your, uh, you know, your, I don't know, your, your Vauxhall Astra. Throw it to the concierge and that's as if you've got much better car than you do. But yeah, this is the uh, the HMV exclusive edition which I believe is now sold out. Um had a bit of luck actually because my card had changed um, between ordering and time to actually pay for it. And HMV won't let you change that. And they said we're cancelling your order and I went, you dirty lousy. Um, however, because it already sold out at that point. However, as soon as that happened, as soon as I got that email, I just went straight back on and it was back in stock because obviously everybody that they'd cancelled on, um, they have to sell them somehow, so managed to get it back again. So, yeah, and it is now sold out once more. However, just a bit of tap, really. This is what you want, isn't it? This is uh, no time to die. Again, no spoilers, but to me, this was a fantastic film. A wonderful end to the Craig era. A very fitting end, much more character driven piece than you'd probably expect at this point. Um, introduces quite a lot of new things to the to the Bond mythos, but it does feel like a continuation and somewhat of a course correction for Spectre. Um, and I was worried about the whole project because Danny Boyle of course was supposed to direct it and didn't. Uh, he left and a bit of a cream puff apparently I didn't like 
the ending that the um Eon wanted and he also wanted it to be much more of a, uh, a reflection of the modern world in terms of real life um, tensions with the, the Russians and whatnot, which isn't part of this at all. And um, this is very much continuation of the whole Spectre thing and anti Spectre. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen it, but again, I don't want to spoil too much. So that was a brief look at No Time To Die, which, my god, it finally came out. Not only is it finally here, but we can sit and watch it in 4K. What a time to be, to be alive. No time to die, but plenty of time to live. Um, so, hopefully, a few of you will get this for Christmas and be able to watch this on Christmas night, because this will be um, a good fun watch for that. That's everything. I'm down to a low battery, so for once I am actually going to keep it relatively short. Um, enjoy uh, the film if you haven't seen it and are about to. If you have seen it, put up a little comment and just see what you think. Um, and if you don't want to watch it, why you watching this video just to see me? Ah. Anyway, I'm off to test drive the uh, the Aston Martin DB5 outside. Yep, there it is. So um, we'll see how that goes. Cheers, bye.